My name is Sainath Surinaranan. I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Wisconsin-Madison in the Department of Community and Environmental Sociology and also currently a Carson Fellow at the Rachel Carson Center. I'm working on a historical project about the interactive development of beekeeping and honeybee biology during the 19th and 20th centuries in the United States. And my topic is part of the Environmental Knowledge and Knowledge Societies cluster. My work looks at the social and historical dimensions of this environmental problem of honeybee deaths called colony collapse disorder, um, or CCD. Uh, CCD is uh, uh, threatening the viability of multiple crops and ecosystems. Most of the research that's being done on CCD is biological uh, and it looks at primarily the honeybee as the object of analysis. Uh, what my research does is to reframe CCD in terms of human honeybee relationships. In more recent times, colony collapse disorder uh, and other related crises in honeybee health uh, can be related to the emergence of a new sort of human honeybee relationship um, in the 20th century and that was the rise of the crop pollination business and also the rise of this highly chemically dependent form of agriculture. Local po populations of wild pollinators started declining and growers who had relied on those pollinators and for their free pollination services now were looking for beekeepers who could provide honeybees to pollinate their crops. This in turn has led to the rise of modified beekeeping practices where beekeepers uh, truck tens of thousands of beehives all across the United States to various crop settings um, and carry out manipulations on their beehives, antibiotics, uh, pesticides, all sorts of uh, artificial supplements in order to make those beehives strong for pollination and this in turn has, uh, I argue, led to the problems that we see today.